This is LiveHipHopDaily.tv. What up, though? It's your girl, Juice Box J, and we're here back at the Juice Box, and we got a special guest in the building, Bluff Gang Mayno. How you doing? Yeah, what's going on? Thanks for coming through. So you're an uh, Atlanta independent artist, correct? Right. And um, how'd you get that name, Bluff Gang Mayno? I mean... I mean, like, growing up in the bluff, you know, we had a little group of clique or whatever, mm -hmm. and we just did what a regular gang to do, you know? So how big is Bluff Gang? Mm, we real big. We like the Wu-Tang. For real? <laughs> nah, I'm serious. That's cool. <laughs> you need to have a strong base behind you because they're they going to push you, push your music, push you right to the top. Uh, yeah. So what's the name of the project you just dropped? Two for on the bluff. Okay, so tell me what kind of music is on there, trap music? Really? I mean, real trap music, you know, like none of that dab, dancing music, you mm -hmm. know, music go get you some money, you know, with life about, get some money. Exactly. <laughs> so tell us how life was growing up in the bluffs. Because uh, for real, the first place I ever moved when I moved to Atlanta, crazy as it be, it was the bluff. I lived on Elm Street. That's the first place I moved. And then we have an audience member. They said coming from New York City, all they know about the bluff is the movie. So, how was it? Uh, you were there, real life. Bluff was fun to me, real fun. You know, the movie, the movie just just some somebody just you know you just make up like they were going on. Don't come to the bluff, but the bluff really just fun. Everybody kicking, it. everybody got their own thing going on. Right. Big family, you know. It is you know down the corner, around the corner. In the shadows, it can get ugly, but you know, really fun. Okay, so you really like family oriented and everything. Basically, that family, everybody family, from the the users, the dealers, the little kid, everybody family. Oh, exactly. So, how was it working with Free Bars? And because we just played the number three video, um, how it feel? And how was it working with Young Di the Prince? They're my brother, like, you know, blood brother. I ain't going to say blood like same mama, same daddy, but, you know, same struggle. So, mm -hmm. they're my brother. My favorite rapper, too, so. So, <laughs> independent artist showing love. Yeah. And that's Juice Box fam. Everybody got to come through here. Yeah, for real. So, how how many, what's, like, some of the other features that you have on your um, album? I mean, your little bit Uh, I don't really do features like that. Like, like partners, friends, like, close friends or whatever. I don't really right. do reach out to do features like that because you know everybody know the same thing i'm on so what's one thing that you can say sets you apart from all the other artists out here because a lot of artists want to be real rappers they want to be real they want to be this but what sets you apart i mean set me apart like i'm real like you know what i'm saying i really did it really done it if i somebody around me really done it mm -hmm. i ain't really trying to do all that dancing and you know all that singing yeah. Really rapping like old trap music, you know, G I T I uh, T I and Young Jeezy. Say it both on together, you know, <laughs> trap music. So they that's they your basically. favorite artists. That's they two artists you look up to. Nah, used to be. Used to be. So what, who who is it now? Me. You. Yeah, I'm grown up. Okay, I see. That's all. And yeah, they was on the same thing they was on back then, probably. Yeah, but. So what are some things that you need around you to help inspire you, keep your music live, and keep it real? Because I know it's hard to keep coming up with new topics. I mean, really, support, mm -hmm. money. Everybody got their own. Everybody say money. You know, everybody got, you know, everybody got their own thing going on. You ain't looking for no handout or whatever. Everybody kicking it, giving in, whatever. You could make any topic. Right, okay, I see, I see. So, top five uh, music songs on your playlist right now. You want me to name them? Yeah. I know music, so I'm gonna say my favorite: Dope Boys, okay. Grow Money, uh, Grow Up. Five. Uh, Who the artists are. Me? Oh, you talking about my song? Yeah. No, artists I mean, by me. Oh, you talking about artists? Yes, that you look up to. <laughs> Top oh, five. I'm gonna go right now. Artists right now, like who rapping right now? I can't name you five, cause I don't know five. So who's 
So all you listen to is your music. I listen to my music, old school music. Okay, yeah, old school. So you tell me a top five old school. You do a lot of samples like Kendrick Lamar as far as, you know. I mean, I sampled the Dope Boys, T.I. Okay. From the Unseria album. But I got a lot more coming. Okay, dude. You got any performances this coming up? Um, no, I'm not lined up really. I really just been in the studio working on a new project I'm finna drop. Some of the producers you work with? I'm just working with one producer right now, Yoshi on the beat. Okay. So. How you link up with him? Family. Everybody family. You know, you known in the streets and he known in the streets, you know, you real, recognize real. Exactly. That's I all. So, as far as on Instagram, how how can people follow you on there? They can follow me at One Bluff Game Mano. Where can people find your music? SoundCloud and SoundCloud, 2 4 Mano. YouTube, Bluff Game Mano. Mm -hmm. Live Mixtape, Bluff Game Mano. Spinrilla, Bluff Game Mano. Just Google Bluff Game Mano. And you out here? I'm out here. So we finna head to the our indie special mix real quick to the number two video. Please introduce your video. Number two video is the Dope Boys. Yeah, you'll like the video. Exactly. Bluff game ain't no. We in here.